He is the pride and joy of Wellington. These days, Nick Roldan couldn't be happier about where he sits and how far he's come to get to that point. I started riding probably when I was like two or three. So it's, uh, and it's, it, it's been in my family. You know, my father's played, his father's played, and we've always grown up on a farm. We've always had horses around us. Roldan, a nine goaler who was ranked number two in the United States, has taken his sport to another level. He single handedly is marketing Wellington Polo for one reason. I don't think anybody realizes how big and the mag and how yeah, the magnitude of, 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 of how big the polo is here in Wellington. I mean, uh, you have got every single all the top polo players in the world are playing here in Wellington right now. So um, and, and this is the highest goal polo in, in, in the United States. That means millions when it comes to sponsors and lots of dedication on the part of the polo player. Roldan puts in at least two hours of riding every day plus personal training in the gym. Even after that, though, he admits most don't know the biggest factor. The horses are 80% of, of the game. And a lot of people also don't think realize that. Um, the, the horses are key. And they come in high demand, 80 to $250,000 per polo pony. The average player needs 8 to 10 horses per match and some 15 to 20 per season. You do the math. It's a simple formula that has transformed this unique arena into a world-renowned environment. And Nick Roldan is riding high atop the momentum that's running full speed ahead. It's, it's an honor and, you know, to be able to be here in Wellington representing you know, a home-based guy. Is, uh, it's a great feeling.